JRDL96 here with a brand new reaction video. And as you can tell by the title, it's a huge video. It's a pretty decent video, to say the least. Um, it's a video that, look, I have seen it before. And it's been a while since I watched this one. But I do know that it's the FNAF musical. And I know Liz, this one of my fellow subscribers, she wanted, to she wanted me to react to it. And... I said I was gonna get to it, get to it eventually, but I felt like it would be appropriate to give Chris pretty good Christmas gifts to everybody, <laughs> if that does, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But I do remember watching this like around the time when it came out, and honestly, I enjoyed um, seeing watching this because it you could tell they put so much effort into like create making it into a musical. Like, it's kind of weird to make Five Nights at Freddy's into a musical. Like, that concept, it sounds weird. But they made the the animatronics puppets, and they had, like, these... They would have... Ooh, like, it was so funny, like... And you had other, like, YouTubers like MatPat, and also Nate, Nate Wants to Battle in there as well. It's It was pretty awesome to watch. The only person I really don't know that much is Nate Wants to Battle. I've heard of the name, but I just never wa never really watched any of his stuff. MatPat, I'm a fan because of the game theory and stuff. Mark, obviously. But I do know that there was like a huge time gap between shooting, ni shooting nights 1, 2, and 3. Night like That was like 2015. And it didn they didn't shoot nights 4 and 5 until like the summer of 2016 and I think there was a reason why because unfortunately Mark had a unfortunate personal uh, tragedy in his life which involved his friend Daniel if you know you didn't know if you don't know who that was one of the guys from Syndigo he uh, died tragically after a failed suicide attempt and his he had a irreversible brain damage so they Hold the plug on him. It's really, really sad. Like, he didn't, there was like no signs of him ever thinking of that. He was happy. But, uh, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to start off on a sad note, but I do know there was a huge time gap in between making those, these, these particular nights. And I do know when they did the super cut, they had to shoot extra scenes. Like, there's, like, I remember there was, like, one scene with Mark had a pillow over his head. I guess to cover up the fact that at the time when they shot that, he had the red hair. And they kind of made it into the story, like, he dyed his hair red to disguise himself because he was on, out, he was on the run. But anyways, three minutes have gone by, and I know you everybody's going to be, like, yelling at me, Get to the fucking video! I'm sorry, but I like to talk. So, there's going to be moments that I might sing. The only parts I might sing is probably Mark's, Mark's songs. Maybe a little bit of Night 1, Night 2. Night 2, I really... I remember like when it came out, I, remember, I always sang it a lot. I'm pretty sure that I'm just going to keep dragging on and on and on. But there's only one part in Night 4 I cannot fucking do. It's the Why is, my, why is There Closets... Making pirate wise my claws and making pirate sounds. That high note, that's just hard to do. I sound like Tarzan. <laughs> I just do that. It's I'll just do like a low key version of it. I don't I know really know that much of night five, but I just know nights one, two, and four. So without further ado, sit back, relax, because this is gonna be a long video. So let's get started, shall we? Three, two, one. I made sure there's no advertisements playing in this because I know because that's what happened with um, Who Killed Markiplier BTS, and that pissed me off. And I know that there was some like echo because of I was in a rush to get that video out, so I apologize. So here we go. Three, two, one. Hi. 
Random Encounters, FNAF The Musical, Five Nights at Freddy's. By the way, I am a fan of, this, of the games, but I never played them. Never got the chance to. But I would love to play the games. Because they were pretty fun. And challenging. I might just sing Mark's lines. That's it. <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. That's completely absurd. Forgive my bad at singing. Midnight already? Hey, I heard they hired a new guy. I try out all the cameras to see what they do. Let's check the animatronics. Did one of them just move? Don't be dumb, that's insane. Look, they're standing all the same. Say for one, could it be? Bonnie staring right at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a chip on the internet. How do these cameras change? They're heading here just to eat me. Like juicy flesh fruit. Or maybe they'll all stuff me inside a bat's bear suit. Seal the doors, hit the lights. Stay away, leave me be. It's me. <laughs> They're breaking down the door. Is that something in the vent? Why does it smell like blood and mucus? I need a disguise to hide in a mask or a head. So blink. Don't breathe. Please, Foxy, leave. <laughs> it looks like a fun time for Foxy, that mask. <laughs> you were right, Freddy. We think the camera's dead. I always wondered why. Because of Golden Freddy. Wow, I'm feeling kind of loopy, but at least I don't feel. Ah! Huh? What do I need a music box for? <laughs> you think papers are gonna do anything to a fucking puppet? Afraid of the dark. Sure. I remember the outtakes for this particular scene. It's too funny. And Mark just freaking flips him off. That was just too funny. I'm not flipping him off. Oh, baby, lady, 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 He's just telling you, get to your job. Or he's there to, to fix what his dad did. By the way, how are you getting so many hours? You scheduled four more nights this week. What? <laughs> he, this is the scene I was talking about when he had the blanket over his head, the pillow over his head. He had to cover up his red hair. Something here seems foul. 
Something here just reeks of blood and suffering. Could it be these halls are echoing of death? We'll see in all my dreams i see a maze of halls with bloody walls and countless scrolls reminding me it's me don't play these games you lost your fright i'm on with more than i like and I'm surviving five nights. No phones, no screens, no more. Just you and me, a gun or three, and nothing else between me and this door. You bring the fur. I'll bring the fight. Hey, Foxy, come get a bite. Cause I'm surviving five nights. You're not Foxy. <laughs> I just love that. You're not Foxy. Worst cops ever. What are they parked in front of a Target or a Home Depot? And here's the reason, explanation of why his hair is red after like a couple months off of filming these videos. It's so weird looking at him with the red hair. Oh, the original Darkiplier footage before it became canon. And there he is. Nate wants to battle. I know he's a very good singer, so he, he's done like covers of like famous songs. Aww. Jesus Christ, you have to pay $920, $25 on room service? Pretty sure. I worked at this place. My life, I'm my secret. Kids burst in tears up there, start eating the face. Fight of May 87. That, that, I love that part. Bonnie! Uh-oh. <laughs> Obviously. What? Good idea, don't touch it. It's a loot crate. Explosive. No, if it's not safe. Uh oh. In your head! <laughs> Find him. <laughs> 
Spring Trap. Ha! Oh, here's Spring Trap. <laughs> Not caught up. <laughs> the cringiness of that. Oh my god. It's kind of. I <laughs> changed my mind right away. Spring Trap. Golden Bonnie. What did he say? <laughs> Oh no! Well, he got Bonnie. You really can't go one night without popping out of something, can you? Oh. Speaking of horrible, what we do about this? They, they had to make him look like a puppet. It's just a puppet thing. And that is Mark. Really? Where does he live? Sorry, I'm late. Traffic was a drag. Oh man. They really did a good job with the set. Make it look like the first location. No. There's Mark having nightmares. Got the dark applier shot before it became canon. It's Freddy Fazbear's. We literally pay someone to be there. Purple guy. Nate, I'm uh, I'm gonna be a little late to my ship, but uh, don't worry, I'll be there as soon as I can. Sounds good. Okay, by the way, did you see any of the animatronics lately? I couldn't find any of them today. Uh, no, that's that's weird. Super weird. Maybe they got in the car and left to go find somebody. You guys are gonna blow a cover. Sorry, did you say something? No, nothing at all. Why? Are you hearing voices? Maybe the restaurant is haunted. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I meant to ask, if you see something green tied up in the closet, uh, could you, uh, not mention it to anyone? Uh, you mean this whole thing? I thought it earlier when I was looking for the others. It kind of smells, doesn't it? You should really not touch that. Nah, it's fine. It looks like someone burned out its wiring almost a decade ago. Yeah, I know. Sure. Well, Don't you realize that there's a human inside? Rotten human. Alright, just uh just make sure you're out of the building by midnight. How's that boss? Uh, on the other hand, a little overtime never killed anyone. Ha, <laughs> sure. Here's night four, and this is the la only the last song I know. I don't really know the Night 5 song that well. Look, you guys focus on getting inside. I'll handle spring trap. Nah. What is this, Independence Day with the c computer? Balloon Boy! <laughs> that was really creative. I love that. Made him into like a little bit of like an RC type, RC type thing. Pretty dark applier. Before he became canon and stuff, and the canon footage was used more. This was just the edit stuff like we would use before 
I think Markiplier came out. <clears throat> Is it true? Are they back? Am I going mad? No one's there. No one's. Why is that fur bag sneaking down the hall? Someone's there. Wish I could say no one's there. <laughs> Something's breathing out beyond the door. Hey, it's me. I swear we've met before. I don't care. No one's there. Where's Here's the part I cannot fucking do. I only did it once. Why is my closet making pirate sounds? I can't do it the, like the high vocal range that he did. Stay back! <laughs> no way. I'll make it funnier. Stay back! <laughs> uh oh. Shut up, bear! Okay, just take it easy. Can you please put the lightsaber? Stop hanging. Seems like a suit. What is he, freaking. What is he, uh, at game? <laughs> Jesus! You're not taking me alive! Get away from me! I'll do it! I'll swear! You work in a nice shift. Are you with them? No, I'm the Uber driver for a bunch of puppets. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Your <laughs> okay, wait, 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 hold on. Even if I was to believe that you talking robots didn't want to kill me, was willing to go back to Freddy Fazbear's, which I'm not. What do I get out of all of this? Psychological damage? A horrible, gruesome death? 25 years to life with a cellmate named Buffalo Freaking Bill! Proving you didn't lie to the police would be pretty cool. Fine. Hooray! Don't touch me. Freddy's open for a few hours. We should lay <laughs> Make it funny with the lightsaber. Boy, listen, Shut that off or I will kill you! Oh, come on! Really? I think that there is no one perfect... Oh, my God. There was no ad showing on the freaking thing. God damn it. Freaking creepy. Also that. How did you find out they were alive? Same way you did. Blue. Blue. No, I, I had a bazooka. bazooka. Someone fucked me. Killed a guy. He was sweeping the floor. I actually heard that guy's in stable condition. Really? Heard 
three rounds in his chest. Guy must know some black magic. I'm starting to think he's not the only one. <laughs> that car go flying behind him. <laughs> He's still in the building, but without his wiring active, I have no idea how to shut him down. Is he actually made of spring locks? Yeah. Spring locks tend to fail when they get wet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Causing spring lock failures and a lot of internal injuries. We all know Freddy's isn't exactly up to code. Yeah. But they do keep a fire extinguisher in every main area of the building. Yeah. So, if you can manage to find those, we can lure him back into the office. And hit him with everything we got. Where do we find them? There should be one right here in the office, actually. Uh, that looks like someone already got it. Well, then we're going to have to find one from somewhere else in the building. We could hunt them down if we know where to look. There is one in the main stage, one backstage, one in Pirate's Cove, and one in the kitchen. So, what am I here for? <laughs> Spring the trap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering, what is Mark's role in this? Something's hiding in the dark. I love that transition. Something tells me we're all going to be dead. Oh, that had to hurt. It should be down near the floor on your back, Foxy. Your other left. Just here so you can just take more hours. Yeah, and I would have gotten them too if they hadn't hired you schmucks to do the night. <laughs> Two schmucks. Hours. You can't legally let stinky animatronics bite children either. It was an accident. Look, I sure. don't even want this job. Uh... No offense, guys. And I'm kind of wanted for attempted murder. So you're just letting me have the night shift? As long as these guys have someone to stay up all night with. Wow, that was a lot simpler than my plan to make you quit. Huh. I feel kind of stupid now. <laughs> you are kind of stupid. <laughs> you, you are kind of stupid. Wow, weird. Everything turned out okay. Sure. It's phone guy. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Oh, hey, congratulations. You made it past five nights. Uh-oh. 
Now the big plot twist of the century. Who's phone guy? Oh Jesus. What's going on here? This is a crime scene. And you're the victims. Who are you? And your employer names? I go by many names. Phone guy, Matt, Matt Pat. Scott Cawthon. <laughs> oh no. Don't be afraid. They just want to say hi. <laughs> Not all of them. Spring trap. Oh, Jesus. You should probably override the door controls. Sure. Yeah, that was easy. Still, that didn't do anything. What a dark ending, jeez. But kind of in the way, in the same manner as FNAF 3, with that. Fat Fazbear's Fright burning down. And kind of like that fan made movie that I saw on YouTube where uh, Mike Schmidt burns down Freddy Fazbear's Pizza with Springtrap releasing the souls of the children. Huh? That's a shame. Should have gone with the headline Freddy Faz Burns. That's horrible. Maybe you should go right for them. Job without haunted animatronics or chainsaw maniacs? Sounds boring. Well, I hear Freddy's is opening a sister location if you want to transfer. Huh. <laughs> uh, I'm getting another call. Sister location. Uh, bye bye. Bye bye. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello, hello. How is your wife? Hey, I bet this is one call you weren't expecting. How? It's probably obvious now, but. Uh, Not that man walking. You probably have really bad third degree burns. incriminating footage on those security cameras, or what's left of them anyway. But the good news is, they told me I could make one phone call. So, you know, I figured I'd give you one last ring for old time's sake to remind you. There's nowhere you can go that I won't find you. There's no place you can hide that I won't kill you. And I'll think about it every night. Until I get out of here, and when I'm I do... Sorry, can I... Can I put you on hold for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> can I put you on hold for a minute? They can't keep in here. They won't. I'll be back. I'll get you on. Ha. Eliminates that. Sunglasses and his regular glasses on. I just noticed that for the first time. <laughs> he has that thing now. Mark. I really love.
loved this. Uh, yeah, I really loved watching this. Markiplier, Nate wants to battle. I do know that there's like a little bit of a post credit scene at the end, so I'll keep it there. David King, the phone guy. I just realized they had two voices. I thought it was um, Matt Pat doing it, but I guess they kind of have similar voices. Whatever. Maybe it's the guy who actually did the voice of... from the original games. Maybe, I don't know. Baz Games Office Manager, Puppet Designer, Prop Design. A lot of... A lot of names. Our awesome Twitter encounters for providing the restaurant's artwork. Aww. Cat Griffin, Mia Kitty. Produced by Random Encounters. This music sounds like you would hear something, something you would hear in Crash Bandicoot. Does it? So, that was really, really amazing. I remember when I, re I first remember when I watched that whole, the complete series version, I was blown away. I didn't ever saw, like, the, the actual ending. I think Night 5 ended with a cliffhanger. Like, with Matt, like, Matt Pat coming in or whatever, but, uh, I don't know. So, seeing the complete series, I'm like, ah, finally. A uh, resolve to that whole situation. So, honestly, I think everybody who is in it, like Matt Pat, Nate wants to battle Mark, everybody, everyone who, I think it was really, really well done, like, really well made, a lot of effort, a lot of details, like in the, like the artwork, the callbacks to the other games, like the puppet from FNAF 2, the NAF 3 with the spring trap, like you, it's like a combination of all the elements of the first three games. And then you have a little mention of like the sister location, which was at the time of that video was released, was like a few months away. And we had no idea what to, what was in store for that game. And then you had that little like reference of FNAF World referring to the fact that when it came out, it was really, really bad. And now it's, like, somewhat all right. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I think overall, I really enjoyed... When I first watched it, and after watching it again, there were some things I kind of noticed that I did not really notice. That one mo that one shot of Mark, like, laying back in the sun, and he had his sunglasses on. I had no idea that he was actually also wearing his actual, gla like his actual glasses underneath. I'm like, dude, how the hell did I not notice that? After so many viewings. So many surprises. And I'm so... I seriously went through the video beforehand. Made sure there was no advertisements. Because I didn't want to make it a big issue like last time. But still, I guess they snuck in another advertisement there just under my nose. But I don't know. But anyways, uh, overall... This was really well made and 
pretty good. I, I really loved it. I loved every single minute of it. And you heard me kind of sing like shit in this whole video. So my apologies if my singing ain't the greatest in the world. Like, I try not to really sing, but I felt like it was appropriate to do that for this video. Because, hey, why not? It's called a musical, after all. So, uh... Hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, video, and if you like what you saw here, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your, with your friends. Be sure to also check out my Instagram, because I make cool edits of Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, even myself. I also do reenactments and cosplays, so go check it out on Instagram. Go, f go check it out. Link's in the description down below, if you want. So, until next time... Jared Hill 96 signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.